Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will discuss projection of lines. Before going ahead, make sure you have subscribed my channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. So the possible cases as discussed in the previous videos, there are four possible cases while projecting lines. Case number one, given line is parallel to both reference planes that is HP and VP. Case number two, given line is parallel to one reference plane and perpendicular to another. Case number three, given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. Case number four, given line is inclined to both reference planes that is HP and VP. In the previous videos, we have seen the first three cases and the link for these videos has been provided in the description. Today, we will see case number four where the line is inclined to both reference planes. So let's get started. In order to have a better understanding, let's take an example. A line AB 85 mm long is inclined to HP at 30 degrees and 45 degrees to VP. The endpoint A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line, find its front view length and top view length if the other end of the line is situated in the same quadrant. Let's extract the given data first. Line is AB and the true length is 85 mm. Inclination with HP is 30 degrees, with VP it is 45 degrees. So theta is the notation used to indicate the angle with HP and phi is the notation used to indicate the angle with VP. Also. The front view and top view positions of endpoint A is mentioned, 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. As with the given positions, A is in first quadrant. Also, it is mentioned the other end of the point of the line. Also, it is mentioned that other end of the line is situated in the same quadrant. Therefore, B is also in the same quadrant, that is first quadrant. What is to be found? front view length and top view length. Let's understand the question in a 3D model. We have this horizontal and vertical planes like this. We are looking from this direction. As per the given data, A is located 20 mm in front and 10 mm above HP. The line makes an angle theta with horizontal plane and it is not given parallel to VP, rather it is having an angle of 45 degrees with VP. So there is an another angle here, phi, made with a vertical plane. In this position, if we try to obtain the front view and we will be having A dash and B dash as the front view points and the line joining A dash, B dash will be our front view. In this, the length of front view will not be the true length, rather it will be reduced length because line is having an inclination with vertical plane. And the angle with the front view will not be theta here, it will be another angle which is called as alpha, which is an apparent angle. Similarly, when you are looking from the top, corresponding top view points A and B can be obtained and the line joining A B will be our top view and there will be an another apparent angle available with this top view which is called as beta. Here also in the top view we are not able to find true length in the top view hence it will be a reduced length. So neither in the front view nor in the top view we will be seeing the true length. Hence we will be using a procedure how to find this reduced length using the true length which is given in the question. Also, the front view and top view points for a corresponding endpoint are located on the single vertical projector. Let's get started. We are keeping this data for our reference. You have to draw the XY line, then a vertical projector. Taking the distance 10 mm above XY line and locating the front view point of A, that is A dash. Taking an angle theta in our question is 30 degrees, then drawing a line at 30 degrees. Taking 85 mm, that is true length in your compass, keeping it at A dash and cutting an arc. Then drawing a horizontal line parallel to XY. 
this line is called as locus of B in front view that means B dash will be available on this line now this point is not our B dash rather it is something else because it is drawn with true length so the name of this point is B1 dash because this is the locus of B it is in front view that's why the dash and one because it is not B dash it should be different from B dash that's why one is being used then you have to take 20 mm below XY line and locate the top view of endpoint A taking an angle phi which is 45 degrees for our question drawing a line at 45 degrees then taking 85 mm in your compass that is true length keeping on A cutting an arc and obtaining another horizontal line parallel to XY name of this line is locus of B in top view that means top view of endpoint B will be available on this line now name of this point B1 dash so one I have already used as a suffix here I'll use two why I have taken two you'll understand when we proceed further okay now what do you have to do you have to project this point to the top view of A so this is how you have to project it up to this so once you have projected it it was in front view so it was b1 dash you have brought it into top view so the name will change to b1 dash is being removed similarly project this p2 to the front view point of a that is a dash when you are bringing this b2 to the front view it will be having a dash now so it will be b2 dash and a dash b2 dash and a b1 are the required front view and top view the lengths are correct but the position is wrong why because we have to obtain the b dash point on this line and b on this line so what you have to do is you have to take your compass keep it on a dash here take distance in compass from a dash to b2 dash and rotate it above intersecting with the locus so you have transferred this point onto the locus by rotating it and you have to label this point as b dash and join it in order to obtain the final front view similarly keeping compass on a taking distance a to b1 in your compass and rotating it bringing it on the locus having an intersection here obtaining the point b and joining it with a so a b is the required top view so these are the lengths which are to be found out in this question you can measure them a dash b dash will be your front view length a b will be your top view length now in order to check whether you have drawn the correct solution or not as you can see a dash and a are lying on a single vertical projector if you draw a vertical line from b dash then b should be on the same line if it is in this way you have drawn the correct solution as you can see the angle made by front view is not theta it is more than that similarly the angle made by top view is more than phi so here these are apparent angles so front view makes apparent angle alpha and top view makes apparent angle beta some important points to remember inclinations you have to remember true length inclination with HP is called as theta true length inclination with VP is called as phi inclination of front view with XY line is called as alpha inclination of top view with XY line is called as beta second most important point to remember for any given point front view and top view always allies on the single vertical line so this is the solution you have to remember if you remember this solution you can solve any question by just altering the steps hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching